Hello, everyone. Today, we'll dive into the basics of computer hardware and software. This essential knowledge for understanding how computers work and how we interact with them. Let's start with the hardware components. So computer hardware components are the physical, physical pieces of the computer. The major hardware components are the central processing unit or the CPU, main memory, secondary storage devices, and an input and output devices. So let's take a look at how data flows. Data flows in a computer from input devices to processing devices such as the CPU and main memory or RAM, and then outputs to then to output devices or secondary storage devices. The CPU or central processing unit is the brain of the computer. It works by performing the fetch, decode, and execute cycle to process program information. Here's a breakdown. The CPU receives an instruction from main memory, fetch, decode. The instruction is decoded to determine what action is required by the control unit, or the CU, and then execute. The appropriate action is performed by the CPU's ALU, or uh, arithmetic logic unit, or other co appropriate component, and the result is outputted or stored. Random access memory, or RAM, contains currently running programs and data used by those programs. RAM is divided into units called bytes, each made up of eight bits. A bit is either on or off. One is on, zero is off. The bits form patterns that represent characters or numbers. Each bit in memory is assigned a unique number known as an address. Remember, RAM is volatile meaning when the computer is turned off, the contents of the RAM are erased. Think of it this way. Main memory is just a column or room cells. And a section of that memory is a byte. And that byte is made up of those eight bits. And if you take two or four sections, we often call that a word. Secondary storage devices store information for longer periods and are non-volatile. Common secondary storage devices include hard drives, solid state drives, USB flash drives, CDs, and DVDs. Input is any data that the computer collects from the outside world. Common input devices include keyboards, mouse, scanners, and digital cameras. Output is in, is any the data, sorry, output is any data that the computer sends to the outside world. Common output devices are our monitors and our printers. Some devices like uh, disk drives perform both input and output functions and are called I.O. devices. I.O. input output. Now let's talk about software. Software refers to the programs that run on a computer. And there are two main classifications of software, although there is utility software as well. Those are operating systems and application software. An operating system, or OS, is a set of programs that manages the computer's hardware devices and controls their processes. Most modern operating systems are multitasking, meaning they can run multiple programs at once. Examples include Unix, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, and Chrome OS. This technique is called time sharing, where the OS divides allocation of the hardware resources and the CPU's attention among all executing programs.
application software. Application software includes programs that make the computer useful to the user. These programs provide specialized environments for the user to work in. Uh, common examples of application software include spreadsheets, word processors, accounting software, tax software, games. In summary, understanding the basics of hard hardware components like CPU and RAM, secondary storage, input and output devices is crucial for grasping how computers operate. Additionally, knowing the difference between operating system and application software helps you better navigate and utilize your computer. Bon appétit.